As you know recently, Apple has released three new iPhones. So today's video is all about how that affects the Axis Go range and what your options are. The new XS Max and XR are gonna need some new designs due to the shape, size, and camera placement, which are already on the way, so stay tuned for more updates on those soon. But the new Apple iPhone XS will work in the Axis Go X directly as is. Now there is a few certain points that we wanna to highlight today, but for anybody looking to upgrade to this phone, there is an option on the shelf right now. All the main controls on the Axis Go X will line up with the XS. Power buttons, volume buttons, and also most importantly, the standard lens which ships with the housing will work with the standard lens on the phone and the tele lens. Accessories like the pistol grip, other mounting options, things like the red filter will also work directly as you would expect on the new iPhone XS. There is one very important point and difference between the iPhone XS and the iPhone X. The lenses on this new iPhone XS have moved ever so slightly. Now we're talking about millimeters and even points of a millimeter, moving the lenses a little bit closer. Also, the standard lens is now a 26 millimeter equivalent. Previously, it was a 28 millimeter. What this will mean is that there is a very serious vignette, and it's very ugly, on our ultra wide lenses. Now, there is an option coming down the line and we are developing new lenses for this, but we wanna make sure that you fully understand the limitations when using the new iPhone XS in the Axis Go X. The vignetting that we're speaking about today, which is that black shading, which you'll see in the corner of your images, applies to both our ultra wide dome, which has the elements of the wide angle built into it, and also our ultra wide flat lens. Now, it does not and I repeat, it does not apply to the standard six inch dome. So you can use this dome and you can go out and you can shoot with the new iPhone XS and you can shoot those split shots or underwater freely without any vignetting. So what does all this information mean? Well, basically we're suggesting not to use our current ultra wide angle optics when going to use the new iPhone XS. Now it's not all bad news. We are developing a brand new wide angle lens system which is gonna be compatible with the iPhone X housing, and also those new housings coming down the line for the XS Max and XR. We're looking to improve image quality, but also continue to give you a nice wider field of view in your photos and videos. In short, we're really excited about these new releases from Apple. The iPhone XS has some great new features in the dynamic range, but also in that depth of field control. That's gonna be really exciting to see how that plays out in the water. Right now, if you wanna use the iPhone XS, jump into the Axis Go X. And as we said, there is some new models and designs coming to the market very soon. Stay tuned for new videos on those new products and also some new releases coming down the line. And if you wanna stay up to date, subscribe to the channel, give us a like, and also follow us on social media. If you need any more help or you're looking for any questions answered, reach out to our staff via the website and we'll be happy to help.